What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to Thrift Flip Thursday, a new series that I'm going to be starting here. I have seen other people do this before, so I'm not claiming to have invented the idea of Thrift Flip Thursday, but I am going to be starting it on this account. Basically, I'm gonna give myself a full Thursday to start and finish a Thrift Flip or at least a sewing project. So I have a lot of things in my scrap bin and in my DIY pile. So it might end up being some scrap fabric. It might end up being a Thrift Flip. I'm going to evaluate that and we can make that decision together. I am starting a little bit later than I planned. It's already 11 o'clock because I had to run some errands this morning and I also went on a run with Lily. Fingers crossed I can get this done in time. Let's get into it. I'm going to make some breakfast, juice my celery and take a shower because I'm sweaty and I also oiled my hair last night. So I'm very greasy right now. And once I've done all of that, we'll get started. I'm really excited to get back into sewing in a more experimental, rapid way. I think lately, even with my thrift flips, I've kind of gotten stuck in the details, like focusing too much on making it absolutely perfect, which there's definitely a time and place for that, but it's kind of taking the fun out of like really experimenting, which is one of the things that I originally loved so much about thrift flips. If I experimented and then it looked really shitty, then it wasn't like, oh, you just wasted some fabric that was like $20 a yard or more. And that's all of what I was doing early, early COVID whenever I first started sharing things on TikTok. But at that time, I just was being like super creative and producing things so quickly and just getting a lot of my ideas like out on paper for lack of a better word. And I think now, I don't know, some of my projects have just taken so long that I kind of dread coming back to it. Like I'll set it aside for a while and then just won't touch it because I'm like, I'm too, stuck in the problem solving side of it all which again I like that like I like the problem solving but I think just I want to experiment more and devoting this one day to just kind of just like go for it I think will be really healthy and be like a creative cleanse for me that sounds a little dramatic but anyways like I said I'm going to eat my breakfast shower and then we'll get to it Okay, I got cleaned up, put on some comfy clothes, and I'm about to go through my sewing area, but guys, it is a disaster. I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna say don't judge. You can fully judge me. I don't know, I do this every couple of months where I'll do a deep clean and make everything look really nice. As you can see from my labeled boxes. Anyways, let's see what we have here. Okay, I pulled everything out from my horribly unorganized pile. First thing is this quilted set that honestly the top fits me really well but the pants just look super dumpy. If we end up going with this I'll obviously try it on and show you what I mean. Option two is actually not technically a thrift flip I guess because they are these tote bags from my favorite place to get pies in my neighborhood. It's this place called Bubby's that their cherry pie and banoffee pie is just chef's kiss. But every time that you buy a pie, they give you one of these totes. So I've collected a few, I have three, and yeah, this cherry print is just adorable. And the material is kind of odd, but I think if I used it for a corset, the structure would actually be really nice. And as long as I lined it with an actual fabric, I think it'd be comfortable enough. So that's an option, but again, not technically a thrift flip, so I'm kind of hesitant to use that one today. Next thing is this blue and white striped bed sheet. It's kind of a cottony material. This one I would consider a true thrift flip. I got it on sale in my hometown. I think it's mostly linen. There's also this kind of mesh. I don't know what this material is exactly, but this really nice see-through fabric. So this could be very fun as well. Next option is this two-piece set that is a dress and a little jacket. One of my mom's friends actually gave this to me because she was like, I love watching your thrift flips and I was about to get rid of this, but I thought it'd be more fun to have you do something with it. So I don't know, I feel kind of guilty because I think this is a nice dress that could be kind of good on its own, obviously good on its own because she had it for a long time, but that is an option and I do feel obligated to do something with it. I have like, one part guilt of, oh, I don't want to be wasteful and upcycle this whenever somebody could use it probably as is, but also I feel guilty for not doing something with it because she literally specified, please make something with this. Like, I love seeing your stuff. So 
we'll see. I'll think about that one. And next is this thrifted mesh fabric that I got recently. It kind of has a stretch, which I think is nice, but I don't know, I might wait and have this one be more for a summer project. And last thing would be this top that honestly I would make such small modifications to. I got this while I was home and I was thinking I could just cut a sliver off at the end and then kind of tie this right here to make it more square neck. Honestly, I think that would be a really easy project. So I might do that just as a warm up since I haven't sewn much recently. Yeah, honestly, maybe I'll start with that. I'm gonna post an Instagram poll to help me decide between all of these. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe do this. Yeah, I think this would be a good place to start and it'll help me feel a little bit more confident going into whatever larger project we end up choosing today. Okay, so let me get a good before. Basically the plan is just to bring it in right there on each side. So I'm gonna take a teensy bit from the bottom. I actually really like where it's hitting currently. So I'm gonna try to take as little as possible and make little bows for up here. You guys, I just finished. And honestly, this looks even cuter than I planned. As you can see, I have the little bows right here. You can also untie them and just leave them as strips because I tied them on. I didn't actually sew them on, so you could you know, change it. You could take one side off if you wanted to, but I really like the two as bows, and it was honestly really easy to do. I just trimmed about an inch off of the bottom, and I still need to maybe hem that, but honestly, I might leave it. I like this length, and the raw edge doesn't look that bad. I think maybe I'll just straighten it out a bit because I was a little sloppy with the cut, but after that, I just ironed out the strips, the inch wide strips, and then did a fold and did quarter inch seam allowance down the side and then trimmed the edges of that and flipped the strip inside out and then tied these bows on. Very simple, very cute. Now it's time to get started on the actual project. I think I'm gonna go with the red quilted set that I mentioned. So I'll go ahead and try that on and show you what I was talking about when I mentioned the dumpiness in the booty area. Okay, I'm feeling very motivated after having that successful little thrift flip or I guess thrift alteration in the bank. But now I'm stressed out because I thought I wanted to move forward with this, but now that I have it on, like when I originally got this, I got it with the intention of wearing it as is, but I've had it now for, I don't know, maybe four months and I haven't worn it. It's very awkwardly tapered at the bottom and it's also this like, elastic waistband, which I think for something that's as dumpy as this whole thing is, it would really benefit from having a true waistband to kind of snatch you in a little. Like if it was like this, imagine it was like this and there was actually a zipper right here. Overall, the silhouette is kind of strange. And also the pants by themselves, like the thing that's making it is it as a set. I think I'm going to do something pretty simple like this Lisa Says Ga set that I saw Kate Laban, I think that's how you say her last name, post uh, a while back. I had it in my saved DIY file for a bit. I'm thinking maybe something like that, like not touching the jacket very much, but altering the skirt. And I'm pretty sure I would have enough fabric left over if I did it like that to maybe make like I don't know, a small top. I don't know if I would wear all three pieces together because that might be a little bit too much, but hopefully I could utilize the other fabric to make a top or something else. Let's get into it. I'm feeling the momentum from the last project. So that definitely was a good pro tip. You know, you gotta get the juices flowing, get excited about it. Okay, I just finished recording my little pre thrift flip TikTok transitions and I realized I really need to have a late, late lunch because, you know, spinning your head around, flipping your hair over and over on an empty stomach in a hot apartment really makes you want to pass out. I'm going to take a snack break. I think it's it's four o'clock, so I'm doing pretty well on time, even though I haven't started the true sort of flip, but I figured out what I'm doing, so I think that's a good direction. I know what I need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. I have my meal prepped. Wow, I'm so chronically online. This recipe is a TikTok recipe, actually. This is what it's like living with a boy. I meal prepped this lovely quinoa garbanzo bean salad, and then my boyfriend came in and just plopped a bunch of chicken on this. His intentions were good. That's all that matters. 
Okay. All right, so I just finished seam ripping the pants apart using my regular old seam ripper as well as some sewing scissors. I'll link anything that I use in the video just in a little link in the caption and maybe in the comments as well. And this is what I've been left with. I have two large pant panels as well as a big strip of elastic. I'm really pleased to realize that the pant leg, each of them is only one panel. A lot of times whenever I've sewn pants and also just the pants that I already have, there's a seam on the inner and outer leg. So four panels in total. I think that's part of the reason these fit so awkwardly as well. But in terms of upcycling, it is a very happy accident, happy realization because it will make it much easier to make the skirt and I won't have to do as many choppy little panels. A lot of times whenever I'm working on a thrift flip, I have to dissect the pattern more than I would like to just to accommodate the fabric scraps and make it work. But I think with this, I'll be able to do maybe just one front panel and then two in the back. Now I'm just gonna get started attempting my skirt pattern. I also went ahead and removed some of the fluff from the top. So I added this basting stitch that way, whenever I hem the top to make the skirt, it won't be as bulky. I've done it on this pant leg, but not on this one. So I'll show you what I mean. Whenever you fold back this, you can see it's like really thick and bulky, which is part of the reason the waistline of the pants looked so awkward. But now this is nice and thin. And whenever I fold it back and add the stitch, it'll snatch the waist a little bit more. Anyways, I'm going to do the same to this pant leg and then start draping my skirt pattern on the mannequin. in the invisible zipper and considering I don't have a zipper foot I feel like I did a very good job it looks pretty clean but I still need to finish this bottom part so we'll see but for now Lily needs to go walkie so we're gonna go on a walk and I'm going to take a little break Lily you'll go walkie come on let's go this Ghostbusters fire station always gives Lily treats, so she always drags me in front of the tourist to go get her little treats anytime time that the entrance is open. It's so cute. No, what do you think? <laughs> Come on, Lil. We're getting caught in the slightest little bit of rain, and she's being such a drama queen. It's just a drizzle, baby. I just finished a very rough draft of the skirt. I just draped it on my mannequin, but like I said, very rough. It's definitely a bit longer than it will end up being in the end. And I also haven't added darts yet and just generally need to bring it in. I really like to make things a tiny bit too big because obviously you can always make things tighter, but it's harder to make them looser. So I'm gonna flip this inside out and then just pin where I wanna take it in a bit more. But I finished the zipper in the back and yeah, I really like that. Pro tip, if you are new to making zippers or even if you've done zippers multiple times, I really like to add them before actually putting the entire garment together. I don't know if that's kind of obvious, but at least whenever I first started, I would always add the zipper as the very last step and it makes it so much more complicated because then in addition to dealing with something that's fairly difficult, definitely like the harder part of making a skirt in my opinion. You also have to deal with the awkwardness of turning it inside out and avoiding hitting the other pieces of fabric. So definitely recommend. Okay, update. I pinned it and brought it in a little bit on the hips as well as added a dart in the back. I only added it on one side, so that's why it's still a teensy bit loose, but I'm going to make sure that this dart is aligned with this one. So that's the only reason I didn't pin it. And I also started experimenting with the length a little bit. And I'm also going to do what I did with the waistline earlier, where I'm going to add a basting stitch and remove any of the cotton fill, like along the bottom edge, as well as along the edges or the sides rather, because otherwise it's going to look really 
bulky and it won't lay flat and we want everything to lay flat and be pretty overall guys we're gonna freaking do it it's i just looked at my wrist and i don't have my watch on but it is 8 30. i think that's pretty good considering i took a lot of breaks we're like how good would i feel like i'm gonna jinx it but from here on out i mean not much else but i still do need to do the top if i'm being realistic i might do the top tomorrow let's just see maybe after finishing this girl i'll feel a boost of energy and go till midnight all right we wait this is my first time seeing it actually on this is so much cuter this looks so much better than the pants i honestly was really afraid that i would regret this but look how cute i'm going to make a matching top perhaps a corset tomorrow but i just wanted to let the record show that i did indeed finish a thrift flip in one day as well as my little warm-up project and i do have proof it's wait it is 11.17 on May 4th. I did take a few breaks. This honestly didn't take that long because I'm trying to add up how many hours it probably was. It was a pretty easy project. This material is very easy to work with. So I think I'll be able to crank out a top tomorrow pretty quickly. The flip Thursday is overflowing a little bit. Okay guys, I made this top yesterday and I honestly didn't record a ton of the process because I was conscious that this video is getting very long and I also wanted to be able to crank it out and move kind of quickly, which it's a lot easier to sew whenever I'm not recording everything. So I'm just going to talk you through what I did. I did something very similar to the skirt where I added a basting stitch along the edge and then removed the fluff around there. I think I did about half an inch a fluff removal and then folded it over and hemmed it on the inside. There is a teensy bit of raw edge showing because I didn't have enough fabric to do a double hem or like a double roll on the hem. So that's a little unfortunate, but all in all, not the end of the world. Also, I'm going to be sharing this free sewing pattern in the caption. So if you want to recreate it, it was a super simple top and you could either just drape it on your own because honestly, so much of it is based off of your body measurements or you could follow the pattern. Basically for the top, I draped it and added darts right here. And then I did end up adding a teensy bit of a dart right here as well. But I did the bra top and then just did one flat strip here. So very simple, but I'll still share the pattern in the caption. I still need to add the grommets in the back. So I'm about to do that right now. And I'll record a bit more of that process because I'm super excited about the grommets that I got. I usually only use silver or bronze grommets, honestly, because I just hadn't found a good colorful set. But I just found this set on Amazon that literally has every color. It's like pink, blue, red, yellow, anything you could imagine. And the red matches really well. I was originally stuck between red and white, but I think the red will blend in much better. So I'm about to add those right now. And when I do, it'll fit nice and tight. It'll be a corset of sorts. I always come back to corsets, but honestly, I really love adding grommets. I think it's super fun. And I don't know why, I think a lot of people get intimidated because you have to use a hammer if you don't have the little handheld thing, but I like hammering them in, I think it's fun. Also, while I was waiting for the grommets to come in, I had some scraps left over. So I went ahead and made these little baby scrunchies that are just so cute. I made these two little baby ones as well as a medium sized one and a very large scrunchie. I was inspired by this image that I saw on Pinterest. So I'm going to style my hair like that later, but I wish I could have made this one a little bigger. I just didn't have enough scraps. There's nothing more satisfying than using every last bit of a garment. So I was really excited to be able to make these and put all the little baby scraps to use. In the end, I really only got rid of a few tiny pieces and like the fluff that I pulled out. But for the most part, I was able to utilize every last bit of fabric. So that's very exciting. Also, can we just appreciate this skirt for a second before I start adding the grommets? I just got it. Anyways, let's add the grommets. All right, guys, we are now officially done. I added the grommets to the back 
and recorded my little TikTok transitions. So this is actually my first time having all three pieces on together. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't think I would usually wear all three pieces together because it's a bit much, but it doesn't look as bad as I expected. So maybe I would some of the time, but that's the beauty of a set, I guess. You can kind of break it up and mix and match different pieces. So I'm really pleased with how these two actually look together, which I wasn't really planning. Originally I planned on just making this top to wear with that white skirt, but the proportions ended up working out really well. I like that there's a little sliver of skin right here, but it's not too cropped. But overall, I'm very pleased. I think all of the pieces work really well independently, but also together. So that's always exciting because it makes your wardrobe more functional. And I'm very happy that I cut up the pants. I think I'll definitely get way more use out of these two pieces than I would have ever gotten out of pants, especially with summer approaching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and apologies it wasn't more of a tutorial. It was more on the Thrift Flip Thursday vlog side. If you have any questions about any step of the process or anything in the free sewing pattern that I'm linking in the caption, please let me know and I'll try to be as quick as possible to respond and provide any clarification. As always, if you follow the free sewing pattern that I'm linking below, please tag me. I love seeing what you guys make. And also I'm going to be renting this set, all three pieces on my Pinball account, which is something I recently started using to rent out all of my wardrobe, but specifically my DIY pieces. If you're not familiar with Pickle, it's basically this app where you can rent out clothing items and you can rent other people's clothes and you get it returned back to you. It's like Depop, but for rentals. So I really love that for my DIY projects specifically because a lot of times I want to share them, but I don't want to part with them entirely. So I'll be linking that as well. If you want to rent this, message me on the app and tell me you came from YouTube and I'll give you a bit of a discount. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.